The newest drill pant, Lil Mabu. Drill rap is all about dissing dead ops, rapping about murder, and proving that you really about that life. Bronx drill is one of the most violent rap scenes in the world. So how is a rich white kid taking it over right now? This is the Yo, world. bro. I heard some shit where they said his dad got a fucking gun license in New York. Bro, the that's crazy, story bro. About Lil Mabu went from living in mansions to sending disses at legit gang members. Let's get right into it. Back in 2019, Lil Mabu hopped in the game at around 14 years old and started dropping melodic rap songs. His early music sounded like a Post Malone never hit puberty, and Mabu wasn't picking up any momentum in the industry. I'm going to sleep. I don't care about Lil Mabu one bit. I don't, but I want to see what they say. I don't know. I don't know much about Mabu. You know I mean, he looks like he's from a, a rich neighborhood. I think I think he got exposed for being from a rich neighborhood. Um, but I don't know. Shoot with it. Anyone can grab a beat off of YouTube and record a track on their phone these days, but something was sketchy about Mabu from the jump. He was an independent artist that nobody knew, but even his first songs sounded like they were produced and recorded by industry vets. It was clear that Mabu had some money behind him, but that didn't mean anyone was paying attention. His pop rap tracks weren't taking off at all, so in 2021, ah. he decided to hop on the drill wave instead. The first time he rapped over a drill beat was on the track Move It, where he laid down some basic bars like, I got these bands on me, I got a friend on me, she used to leave me on scene. I ran these racks with my dudes, on the phone making some moves. You hit me out of the blue? Yeah, you used to clown me at school. Mabu wasn't rapping about catching bodies yet, but it was still a crazy switch up from his first track. And when he followed it up with the track Demon Time, it was clear that Mabu was going all in with Drill. Demon Time is a way more aggressive track. Mabu went from rapping about getting clowned at school to laying down lines like, do what I say so, you gonna fold like a table. Demon Time, Angel, my brothers, they told him to fuego. They try to pull up on me. When I see my people, I know they gonna leave. And mm. don't cross me, I'm not Jesus. Run up a check, fingers they blue, you know the vibes, I stay with the crew. The video for the track popped off and almost hit a million views. Whoa, that was Lil AG's? I, I what are you doing the there? Crew. The video for the track- Let me find out. Let me find out. Popped off and almost hit a million views. Mabu was That's making some noise in the drill scene, but it was always pretty clear he wasn't really about that life. Just like how his early tracks sounded like they were professionally produced, the video for Demon Time obviously had a decent budget. Mm. Most drill rappers would shoot their videos out on the street or in the project, but Mabu had expensive studio sets and a lot of production for his very first music video. He followed Demon Time up with the track King of the World and got even more aggressive. On the track, he said, put a blue face on a plain Jane, but I ain't no crit. Peep the fit, you want the smoke? Then pull up on the fifth. Ten in the windows, they blacked out. Said I was broke, so I'm whipping the racks out. Lil boy tried to fight, but he tapped out. Mm. Hang with the drillers that's spinning it back round. Mm. Lil Mabu was racking up hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube, but it didn't take long before someone called him out. Use Jesus, a rapper from the Bronx who got active in the streets when he was young. He reps a gang called the YGs who have issues with the OGs, Southside, and other crews in the area. The YGs and OGs were actually all the same gang back in the day, but then someone high up in the crew oh crossed God, another bro. member and they ended up man, splitting bro. into two different groups. Fuck. Like most dudes in the drill scene, Yus was active in the streets before he started making music. He didn't start writing songs till he got locked up, but it didn't take him long to make waves in the Bronx. He dropped the track Dead Lokes in 2020. Like, bro, I do not give a fuck about He won and bro. racked up over 2 million plays. And that's when he started calling himself the face of the Bronx. Yus wasn't feeling a dude like Mabu jacking the drill culture. And they started sending shots back and forth on social media. This and other artists has always been part of the rap game. This situation was different. Dudes in the Bronx drill scene aren't just rapping about stories they made up in their heads. They come from a place where saying the wrong thing to the wrong person can get you killed. And it seems like Mabu don't realize that some people are really about that life and it's not just an the image they put on in music videos. Mabu took the beef to another level when they linked up with Yush G's op, Sha E.K. for a diss track called Everyone K. Sha's a Bronx rapper who reps the OGs, which all the Mabu in the Bronx, like with their freedom, to make some op for use. But even though they rep rival crews, they didn't have any personal beef until Yu started calling himself the face of the Bronx. Sha sent a shot with the track Face of the What and said, Yu G's, you the face of the Bronx. It's Sha G's right now. Bronx, like how? Words to my mother, you shot. We dropped a bit mm -hmm. on the same day. We can see that I'm lit, and you not. Yu and Sha have been going back and forth ever since. So Mabu links up with Sha to send more shots at Yu. On the track Everyone K, Mabu said, I don't mess with nobody. It's everyone K. If you're looking for me, come and play. Say Mabu's a cop. I don't think it's bold. I, I think Shaji's dropping every week. Kenzo better than Shaji's to me. Nah, Shaji's numbers is crazy, bro. But y'all talk to the Jakes. He a I don't think his shit is like anywhere fabricated. Rat. His views aren't anywhere fabricated, Shaji's. Not the same day. You got knocked for a body, but they dropped the case. You a snitch. It's a shame. 
We smoking on B, and that's straight to the face. Mm. I said, beat it, kicked him up the state. Mm. He also called you out by name and clowned him for getting a social security number leaked online with the bar. Use G's, where you stay? Let me send you a new pair of shades. Thanks for that, says Sam. I'm getting paid. Nah, ain't that boy, Use G said that he broke his um LV sunglasses. That's why he didn't, didn't make videos. I was not using my videos, that's crazy. Open three SBAs in your name. Use was also exposed for allegedly rocking fake designers. So Mabu called him out and said, Use G's got the craziest fits. He be rocking one-on-one -on -one designer. So I gotta admit, I got no drip. He flyer. Yeah, I, th I think Kenzo's a better artist. Use G's got the craziest fits. Heard he shipping them straight out of China. Yeah, I know that. Use clapped back with the song In My Mood and out. said, Lil Mabu a I know where you from. I just bought a new chop. Put the beam on a drum. You a kid. When I see you, you done. Duck Five got kicked, trying to get him and run. Beefing with you should put more eyes on Mabu though. And last summer, he started running up crazy numbers with tracks like No Snitching with Dusty Locaine. The video hit over 7 million views on YouTube. That's crazy. And the track ran up over 50 million plays on Spotify. Mabu dropped his debut album called Double M's. But what's wild is who we got features from. He had Shy K, Dougie B, and D Thang all on the project. He got D Thang? Whoa, 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 whoa. We about to react to that. Hold up. And they all have complicated street ties. Y'all don't say anything about no D thing in Lil Mabu. It's in real life. Shy used to be cool. I'll cut out Mabu's part for after. Like and K Flock back in the day. Damn. They had a fallen out over something and don't work together. D thing's apparently K Flock's cousin, but he reps the YGs and his enemies with Flock and Shy K too. Like, he sent a shot at Shy. Like, bro, why are we why are we talking about D thing right now, bro? Like, making a seven minute video out of bullshit. Out on the track, talk back. I thought he was gonna bring up his dad, like his past or anything. He's just talking about the, the Bronx Drew. He's making a Bronx Drew. Fucking video. You know, me trying to get the views because I know Mabu doing crazy numbers, but damn, I ain't learn shit. And said, Jiggy Man dumbass got hit. Oh. That's word on my mother. They never do shit. But Shaw actually did D Thing's dead friend Delilah first. On the track DD, Kez was a friend of D Thing who was tragically shot in the head in 2021 at the scene he's trying to hop boost. Mabu's latest track is a collab. Mabu proved that he didn't know anything about the scene he's trying to hop into by putting all of these dudes on the same project. But apparently they all cool with it because he's yeah, getting them caught in cool, views. Huh? Mabu's latest track is a collab with Didi Osama called Throw. Didi Osama started blowing up last year after his 15 year old brother Nadi was stabbed to death in the subway. That's Nadi was a drill rapper too and had tracks popping off, but he was tragically taken by the streets before he could leave him behind. After Nadi died, crew called Fo One dropped the track Nadi Bob, which went viral on social media and had all kinds of people doing a dance that mocked Nadi's death. Now Didi's blowing up too, but he says none of it really matters to him since his brother can't be here with him to experience it. That's what makes this whole thing with Mabu even worse. He's not just rapping about guns and catching bodies. He's using real people who dealt with real tragedies for clout. And the New York Post just exposed Lil Mabu for who Hell he really yeah. is. According to the report, his real name is Matthew Peter DeLuca. He Peter. lives in a mansion on the Upper East Side and goes to a private school that costs... Mansion on the Upper East Side. They got mansions out there? 3,000 square foot condo on the Upper East Side. Where the fuck is... Oh, it's a condo. It's not like... Okay. Name is Matthew Peter DeLuca. That's like the apartment shit. Like that's a fancy way for apartment. Luca, he lives in a mansion on I the think. Upper East Side and goes to a private school that costs 60k a year. But damn. He lives in a mansion on the Upper East Side and goes to. A that's what I'm trying to put my kids in. W. Dad, he's a senior at collegiate school. That basic ass name, the nearly 400 year old Manhattan prep that costs 60,000 a year. 400 year old. Private school that cost 60k a year. Plus, oh, his family owns chatting, another mansion bro. in Hampton. When he was at a middle school that cost over 50k a year, Mabu was such a good student that he earned the headmaster's prize for strength of character. Mabu's trying to track the drill culture of artists who really have to survive the streets while he goes to the same school JFK did. Damn. It's not clear if his career will burn out now that the truth is out there. But Shy E.K. told the Post he don't have street cred, but they disrespect it because they know he has music talent. A lot of yeah. rap. They got paid a bag to do it, I bet. Fans don't think they probably got paid like 50k to be and get a feature. Real should be promoted at all because of all the shit. violence going 20K. down behind the music. Others say it gets people away out of the streets and the violence would be happening anyway. Slim Jesus was another white kid who blew up making drill music. Like, okay. His career fell completely off after he admitted that everything in his music was capped. It's not clear if the same thing will happen to Lil Mabu, but we know he won't have to worry about going hungry if his music career doesn't That's work out. Fact. Why the why the NY Post do that though? NY Post. That was crazy. Like he could have just read the fucking NY Post article after the video and made it made an eight minute video off the off the article. Like he was talking about fucking Shy K D things beef. <laughs> Yo, 
if his dad wasn't a high executive in the music industry and didn't have the resources for Mabu to give to actual true rappers, I don't think none of them will support Mabu, but free resources and clout to let it slide, that's a fact. Now, that's really bad. That's, like, that's bad, bro. Because your name is on that product. Mabu does some crazy shit. Drill rap. Your name is always going to be connected to him just for some money. Unless it was more than money they gave him, but still. <clears throat> Me personally, if I was a drill rapper, I was in that lifestyle in New York. <clears throat> we made a way to get out. We put the Bronx on. I wouldn't let anybody just get a feature just because they gave me some bread. You feel me? Especially someone like Babu that obviously didn't indulge in that lifestyle where help put it on. He just came late, came to the party, gave hella features, gave hella bread out to get the features. And just now he's he's considered, I guess, the, a drill rapper. You feel me? But do what you gotta do to get the bread. That's crazy, though. He went to a fucking 400-year-old, paid 60K a year for school, and just drill rapping. That's wild to me.